Would you like to influence the world? Well, now you can. Hey guys, producer Million coming at you. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me here on this episode of the vlog. You know, we all are doing stuff online. We're all doing e-commerce things, whether, you know, you call it that or not. We're all putting out stuff on the web. We're all doing social media. We're doing SEO. And a lot of you out there have built brands for yourself, whether it be things like clothing or web things or any sort of product or artistic venture, anything on that line. You know what it's like when you're trying to put something together. Now, the downside to all this is that not only are we localized in our area in many cases, but now with the internet, this reaches the entire world. So global is something that comes along um, as part of the package when you're putting something together for e-commerce, on the web, or any sort of presence on the internet whatsoever. Now, I want to tell you today about this book here. It is called The Global Influence, and this is by a client of mine named Luna Vega. Now, Luna Vega is a digital consultant, and uh, she's been a client of mine for a couple years now, and she does really, really cool and amazing work. And it seems like any time I go track her down to see where she's at, she's in some exotic place in the world. She's like in Thailand and Singapore and Barcelona. This, this, this girl's a globetrotter. New York City, she's all over the place. But when it comes to global stuff, she knows what she's talking about. So she has written this book called Global Influence, and a podcast she has done is also called The Global Influencer, and she's working on some other projects now. That was what I worked on with her. But what I want to do for you is to present to you a small portion of this book so that you can sort of get a feel for what she's talking about. And if you like it, make sure you go check her out and support what she's doing and get a copy of this book and see what you can do to help yourself along. So she has sent me a segment from chapter one, and I will read that for you now in my golden radio voice. All right, here we go. Chapter one, why most e-commerce website businesses fail. Many e-commerce websites ultimately fail. This is an unfortunate reality that doesn't have to be, but it is true. Consider these factors as you expand your business to reach an international audience. Lack of staff. Many e-commerce business owners believe that they can run their businesses alone. While an e-commerce website doesn't have the same staffing requirements as other businesses, it can't be a one-man operation. As with any business, the basics must be covered. You have to make sure that things like customer service, accounting, website design, and promotion are handled properly. Each one of those tasks is a job that must be handled with a level of skill and expertise. If you try to do them all, you won't be able to do it successfully. You need a staff to support you. Lack of or limited contact information When your business exists mainly or solely online, you have to make it easy for your customers to contact you. A contact form isn't enough. You should have multiple ways that people can reach you should they have a question or need additional information. You also need to establish a process to handle inquiries in a timely manner. Some e-commerce websites are communication black holes where requests go unanswered. If you don't respond to customers or potential customers, they will go to another company. Come up with at least three ways people can contact you. Your methods of contact should be a contact form, phone number, and social media outlets. Google Voice or Skype allow you to create free phone numbers. You can also look into creating international toll-free numbers. Services like RingCentral or eVoice can help you. You can also include a live chat software within your site so users can have ability to communicate with you or leave questions in real time. There are many options out there that are affordable. Poor Website Organization and Design Unless you are adept at user design, you should find a specialist or a company and get them to either design or fix your website. Don't assume that just having a website is enough. If you don't work with someone to make sure your website is well organized and designed to make it easy for customers to browse through your products, people won't stick around to make purchases. Without experience in what it takes to make a website easy to navigate, you won't be able to organize it properly by yourself. It has to be easy for customers to find what they need and get what they want when visiting your website. Users want to be able to get what they want when they want it. 
If a person has to search, wait, or stop, they are much less likely to become a customer. As the business owner, it's your job to make the process as smooth and seamless as possible. If you do not have a budget to hire a web development team, you should consider investing in a hosted e-commerce solution such as Shopify, Squarespace, Magento, BigCommerce, or Volution. These platforms provide an array of cost-friendly templates you can choose from. You should never overlook design and user experience. Little or no security. The main reason international shoppers will shy away from purchasing on some e-commerce site is because it doesn't feel secure. E-commerce sites are targets for hacking since they contain sensitive credit card and customer information. If your website isn't secured with proper authentications, you will need to take the steps necessary to do that right away. If you aren't using a secure e-commerce platform, you will need to use an SSL security certificate. SSL security enables you to encrypt all of the data that is coming to your site. You will also need to have strong passwords in your back end so no one can hack into your site. If you aren't using a secure e-commerce platform like Shopify, Squarespace, BigCommerce, Volution, etc., it's important to consider security at every step of the way while you are building your e-commerce business. While extra security precautions may be an added expense, it's important that you do what is necessary to make your customers feel secure. Create a staffing plan I realize you may not have the capital to have a full staff from the very beginning, but you should have a plan that includes when you will begin bringing on staff or contractors. It's best to do this based on your desired growth and the needs you anticipate encountering along the way. Many e-commerce businesses don't take the time to ensure that the above factors are properly addressed, and it will ultimately lead to the failure of those businesses. It's important that you take the time to put the proper infrastructure in place to ensure that not only you are earning money, but that you are making it easy for people to become customers. Yes, most businesses will fail, but the key to improving your odds of success is knowing what contributes to those failures. Once you know what could go wrong, you're empowered to make changes before they become problems. Now that you're aware of the challenges you could encounter and some ways to fix them, it's time to clearly define what you'd like to accomplish with your business. You must have goals spelled out to ensure that you are actively working towards a predetermined level of success. All right, guys, so that is The Global Influence by my friend Luna Vega. Make sure that you check it out. I'll leave the link down below if you want to check out the book a little further, as well as my website. If you like my reading, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. You know you love my golden radio voice, so hit the subscribe button if you will, please. And if anybody out there is in need of any sort of voice work for their script or audiobook, please hit me up. Make sure you mention YouTube. I will provide a little discount to you because I love you, and uh, we will roll from there. So... Again, the global influence, why most e-commerce, hold on, hold on, I'm sorry, hold on, hold on. Global influence, e-commerce marketing tips for small businesses, written by Luna Vega. So, make sure you check it out. See you next time. Producer Million, coming at you. Bye.